rainy day The separation's real and I find It is based on nothing Pass from far to the sun Mothers do their
Thank you. Uh, stuff you can't see anywhere else, and uh, sometimes there's good reason for that. But uh, we like to do it for you. It's Austin, Texas style. And if you were watching, at the top of the show, we had a wonderful acoustic performance from a band hot off the 101X Fest stage this afternoon, actually. Uh, it's Chalk Farm. <laughs> How you fellas doing? Good, good. good. Yeah. Sounded really good this afternoon and tonight as well. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. So you're on uh, Columbia Records. And your, your debut album out now is uh, Notwithstanding. Some great tunes. Were all the tunes we heard tonight from the record? Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, that's been out for how long now? Came out Couple August months. 13th. Yeah. Couple and months. you've been on the road promoting that for a little bit? Uh, how long have you been out? Ooh, <laughs> let's see here. <laughs> how much time. It's getting yeah, a right. blur. We've lost but track. We've, uh, yeah. we've done uh, a bunch of promotional. Uh, um, radio station things for the last two or three weeks, and we're actually on tour right now with Tishwala. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll be joining the refreshments in another couple of days. That sounds like fun. It should be a blast, yeah. And you're making the trek around the whole United States, is that it? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Banning <laughs> it. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Well, um, I've got uh, my little cheat sheets here, so let's, let's hit some Chalk Farm history, I suppose. As it says on the web page, if you're out there, uh, you can check out the uh, Sony.com site, the uh, music uh, artist information. You can find Chalk Farm and all your favorite bands. But uh, the history of the band, I guess we'll go to. It says, uh, Mike, Michael, you, you met Orlando um, before in, a, in another band you played together. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in entertaining. <laughs> it was a nightmare. <laughs> oh, I was being polite. I know. Well, I, I heard the uh, producer <laughs> of the project was the nightmare. Oh yeah, he's a uh, he was a power freak. Let's put it nicely. Yeah. And uh, we weren't supposed to be having fun at that point. We were supposed to be working very very hard. Music is not fun. Oh, yeah, of course yes. not. That's what he told us. It was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you have to have fun to be playing music. Oh, you know, it's not worth it's it if you're not having fun. fun. You know, so, so you, uh, you guys, what, split up for a while? Is that it? And you went to playing coffee houses? Or yeah. how did that work? Yeah, we just kind of, it was getting to a boiling point. And yeah. then just left and started playing coffee houses and then called him back up. Yeah, and I was out playing and having fun. And when he called up, I even had more fun. It was yeah. nice riding with him. So did that maybe drum up a little bit of uh, aggravation between the two of you at all? Or is it just strictly with that individual? Oh, just strictly you know, with that individual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, you can never tell, you know, when, in that situation when people push you so far, you can get mad at anything. Yeah. So, mm. it, it, At times it, it seemed that way, but we always tended to know where the uh, drama was coming from. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I, you, you had another guy on drums at one point from Moon Pools and Caterpillars. Yeah, a great band. Google. Yes. I love bands. Yeah, so. those, they're, they're dear friends of ours. Yeah. They're great. And he's not in the band because? <laughs> well, he's in their he's band. In yeah, he's yeah. in <laughs> That's that answer. And you just <laughs> borrowed yeah. him, basically. Yeah, yes. we were borrowing him, and he uh, he broke his wrist snowboarding mm -hmm. a couple days before a show we had, and uh, we panicked a little. Kind of need someone quick, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So we were calling around. Had a couple of people flake on us, and all of a sudden. He called him. Texas <laughs> man. Yeah. 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 As a matter From of Sweetwater, band. Texas. Yeah. The right. local Toby boy. Toby Scarborough. That's great. Yes, indeed. So. And you met Toby. Yeah. Actually, I, I had seen him play at a party mm -hmm. months before mm -hmm. uh, with a cover band. I just remember sitting there in the couch going, wow, that guy's good. I wouldn't mind playing with him sometime. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just a passing thought. Go <laughs> figure. Yeah. You know, a couple months later, I didn't realize I'd be panicking and begging him to play that night. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> Nothing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, want to play? <laughs> And that was the start, and we've, we've been with them since. At Friends that point, you were a three-piece, is mm -hmm. that yes. it? Yeah. Um, Acoustic-based music. I guess you wrote most of the mater ma excuse me, material, is that right? Well, we, started, we started writing pretty, pretty much as soon as we got together. Yeah. There were some songs that I had had already working in coffee houses, and, but um, yeah, as soon as, as soon as we got together, we started writing. Started writing and adding more songs to <coughs> yeah, it. Yeah, things, things get out of hand as far as uh, what we were able to do with them, mm -hmm. as far as the acoustic trio, and we decided we need to expand mm -hmm. sonically, and uh, we decided, okay, Trace. we're gonna get a <laughs> guitar player. No. Yeah, no, it wasn't me at first. <laughs> <No>? <laughs> oh, you found out. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> no, we decided uh, we decided we needed another guitar player, and it, you know what we were what we were able to play wasn't fitting what we wanted to do mm -hmm. and write, and 
we had a show and literally the same week we decided, okay, we need to find a guitar player. We were playing a show and he was playing in the band after us. Yeah. And uh, we this knew the singer of the other band. So is this in Los Angeles? Yeah, this yes. is all in L.A. Mm -hmm. yep. And, uh, you know, we couldn't outright ask him to join the band, although that was secretly our intention. <laughs> Full intention, <laughs> yeah. But um, for some reason, all the, all the guitar players we knew were real metal players, and that's totally not what we wanted. And uh, well, I figured well, I'd so ask him. I better get out of here. I know. Uh, split. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later. But, uh, you know, we were talking. I just asked him. I figured maybe he'd know someone. He goes, oh. Here's my number. As a matter of fact. Like, yeah. Yeah. It we, sounds like Austin, fellas, let me tell you. Oh, yeah? Cool. Yeah, I don't know how the uh, relationship between musicians in L.A. are. I've heard some really nasty stories, but uh, here in Austin, uh, they're kind of supportive, except they're all trying to steal each other. Mm. So, you know, <laughs> but it's, it's a healthy, uh, healthy type thing. It grows in bitter, bigger and better bands come out of it, and yeah, uh, the scene is very thriving here right now. If we could just get the people to get off their ass at home, and come to the club, yeah. then we'd be okay, you know, to see the bands. Did you ever have any uh, problems? How did you how did you deal with that starting out as a band, as far as drawing people to your show? Well, it actually started before that. As soon as Trace joined, we really uh, quickly after we, we hit this really massive creative wave, and. Uh, Lie on Lie was actually the first song that we started really working mm -hmm. together. Really? Trace brought this thing in and it was like, wow, that's really cool. And we, we hashed it out for a while and then we all just beat it up a bit. <laughs> and, you know, but what we, what we did mainly is we concentrated more on the material mm -hmm. than playing. Yeah. Did you do a lot okay. of gigging? <laughs> yeah, well, sure, he says. <laughs> did y'all do a lot of gigging? Yeah, we hit out a lot in L.A. We didn't play the, uh, the regular strip mm -hmm. places. We, we had places like Jack Sugar Shack that would let us hide out on Monday nights and, and hone down our songs to three or four people drinking at the bar. Mm -hmm. And we get the good reaction just from even those three people, you know, we head in the right direction. Right, you tell their feelings. And uh, about. we weren't burning people out on us, good. as you can do sometimes with, with new material. Mm -hmm. I understand uh, you weren't together a year, and here comes a big fat record label. Mm. You well, know? Boom. <laughs> well, you know, when, when Trace joined the band, the writing just took off, and, yeah. and everything was right. You know, it, uh, like, like Michael said, there was a the big uh, surge of uh, creativity. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it was just really good. You just know when you hear, right? It's just yeah. a formula, it? it's a chemistry. It just <laughs> all of us together, it just make it a band. Mm -hmm. you That's know, what completion. you look for, you know, you know I mean, when you find that sound, you know, and, and until you get that right sound and when you finally get that final piece, you hear it and you know, and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes for musicians here in town, when they get to that point, it's very frustrating. They're like, what do you do next? You know, because they feel like they have that sound and it takes a lot to get someone to notice you, you yeah. know, anymore. Speaking of people to notice you, um, I guess some of the people, uh, it says here, Matt Hyde, uh, was help make your your album. Mm -hmm. Is that right? He's an angel. Yeah. Yes, he is. And yeah. he had uh, did Porno for Pyros, the Holy Barbarians right. uh, album. Yeah. And how was that to work with him? Uh, it was uh, it's like it was a dream come true. Yeah, it couldn't have been any better. He was like the fifth member of the band. Really? Yeah. That's good. He brought what he what did he contribute? Did he just bring everything together, or uh, he brought a sense of being comfortable and not being stressed out in the studio so we could be creative. It's pretty hard right uh, there in itself. And it seemed like every time we thought of something, he thought about it right before us or right after us to, to make it happen. You know, he gave us more of a little, little edge to the band. It was, it was oh, like a dream. Like That's I said, it was, it was really nice. And Benji Gordon? He uh, brought you to Columbia, apparently. Is that what that, that's what I read here. I don't mm -hmm. know much yeah. about that. He's the other angel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure. Actually, there's, there's, yeah, he's one of the other ones. There's another guy named Dave Weiderman, mm -hmm. who uh, is at the Guitar Center in Hollywood, who initially turned us on to Matt, mm -hmm. who in turn turned us on to Benji. And the album title, notwithstanding. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess, as it said there, in your contract so much, it is a very contract-sounding word. And uh, uh, I, you just decide to pick you that? Don't, I, don't I'm don't. done with my cheat sheets, <laughs> man. I, I'm, I'm winging it. Now, right? so, thank you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, notwithstanding, um, is that uh, you said originally because of the contract, but I understand 
that it also has to kind of do with the ideas that you're coming from uh, writing the record, you know. Every day is a, is a struggle and, and you know, uh, notwithstanding every day to come and make it, I guess, is that what it's all about? Yeah, it's kind of a, uh, almost going back to what you were saying before as far as, you know, musicians get together and they look for, you know, someone to notice them. Mm -hmm. When we, uh, when Orlando and I first got together, we decided that if, because we'd had the miserable experience we'd had before, I and mean, we spent two years doing everything that was supposed to be done, mm -hmm. and uh, we were miserable and it was stupid. And so we decided, listen, if we're 50 and we're playing in some little club for 10 of our friends, then as long as we're happy doing it, that's what really matters. Cool. And it's, you know, uh, with Toby and with Trace, it's just, you know, that little formula is just expanded, and we all feel that way. Yeah. And the fact that Columbia did come in is like, wow. Yeah. You know, how cool is that? But exactly. You couldn't ask for much more. <laughs> exactly. But notwithstanding, the, by definition, is in spite of. Mm -hmm. So really, you know, we believe that in spite of anything that you may think is in your way or is actually in your way, if you want something passionately enough, you can actually get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're the best proof that there is. Exactly. Well, uh, congratulations. You know, I, I love the CD. It sounds really good. And I've uh, been listening to it now for, for, uh, for a couple weeks, and uh, I, I like everything I've heard. Hey, as I asked you to play <laughs> earlier, that's kind of the one that sticks with me. I don't know if that'll make it to uh, a single, but your first single is Lie on Lie, and we've been hearing that uh, on the radio here in Austin a little bit. Um, what, 101X, I guess, is mm -hmm. playing it uh -huh. for you. Hopefully, KLBJ will get on that. And uh, 107, we have a lot of alternative stations here in town that should be playing it. And, uh, you know, slowly but surely, I, I hope they'll all come along. The video, um, how has that been for you, you know, uh, making the first music video for the record? You ever had any experience with that before? Or? That, was, that was crazy, because we, we did our first video the first time, and then we did our first video a second time. Really? <laughs> so. Was it independent the first time around, or no? I mean, it was. I mean, it was the same process both uh, times. It was just we were working with the wrong guy. I see. So, so did, did it take a long time? To, you know, a lot of people have some horror stories from shooting videos. You know, so I don't know. Was it good for you? Was it an all right experience? The, well, they were both fun to do. Uh, yeah. You know, it was, it was relatively quick. We shot. Yeah. You know, each one was was shot in one day, mm -hmm. so um, you know it wasn't really uh, really time consuming. That's uh, cool. It's just a crapshoot. It's yeah, <laughs> it is. You know, yeah. you can spend a million dollars on a video, or you know, twenty thousand on a video, and you might you know, you know you might have gold. You might have a rock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, like a rock was good for Bob Seger, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I was we, wish for. it was that kind of rock. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, so have you been getting some exposure with that at all? Have you noticed it been played anywhere and uh, seen yourself on TV? Anything like that happen? <laughs> <laughs> it just aired, actually, uh, on 120 Minutes last week. That That's was great. Its, that was its, uh, its debut. Good, and, uh, good. We were on the road, mm -hmm. on route to somewhere, and so we, we didn't catch it, but... Um, apparently looks good. That's great. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say to Austin, Texas? We're going to check that video out right now and let y'all get some sleep. I know it's getting late. For <laughs> it's been I know a long where day, you're going from here, fun. but uh, it's been a long day for you, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, anything you want to say to the folks at home? Keep on it. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. It's been great being here. Chalk Thanks Farm on uh, Columbia Records. Check it out. It's notwithstanding, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in Austin, Texas again. Excellent. Hopefully Thank you for so. coming to Raw Time.